Discover the transforming power of patience. Catechesis read by Pope Francis for the first time in about a month. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Continuing his cycle of catechesis on the virtues, Pope Francis dedicated the general audience of this Wednesday, March 27, to reflect on patience, a virtue that, he assured, we must imitate Christ and ask the Holy Spirit for. At the beginning, the Holy Father explained to the faithful that the general audience had been moved from St. Peter's Square at the Vatican to inside the Paul VI Hall due to rain. Thank you for your patience, here at least we did not get wet, the Holy Father said. For the first time in nearly a month, Pope Francis read the full text of his catechesis, a sign that he seems to have recovered from health problems that have prevented him from reading speeches and homilies in recent weeks. In Wednesday's catechesis, Pope Francis stressed the importance of patience, while explaining that the word has the same root as passion. Precisely in the passion arises the patience of Christ, who with gentleness and meekness accepts being slapped and unjustly condemned. Before Pilate he does not recriminate, he endures the insults, spitting and scourging of the soldiers, he bears the burden of the cross, he forgives those who nail him to the wood, and on the cross he does not respond to provocation, but offers mercy. He also stressed that the patience of Jesus does not consist in a stoic resistance to suffering, but is the fruit of a greater love. He then remarked that charity is magnanimous and patient and that Jesus, instead of giving vent to man's evil and sin, reveals himself greater, ready each time to begin again with infinite patience. For Pope Francis, Patience is the first trait of every great love, which knows how to respond to evil with good, which does not close in anger and discouragement, but perseveres and restarts. Along these lines, the Holy Father assured that there is no better witness to the love of Christ than to meet a patient Christian. Let us also think of how many mothers and fathers, workers, doctors and nurses, the sick, who every day, in secret, grace the world with holy patience, he exclaimed. Later, the pontiff lamented that we often lack patience and that we instinctively become impatient, it is an instinctive to become impatient, and we respond to evil with evil. He stressed that at times it is difficult to remain calm, to control our instincts, to restrain bad responses, to quell quarrels and conflicts in the family, at work, in the Christian community. Quickly comes the response, we are not able to be patient. Faced with this, Pope Francis asked to remember that patience is not only a necessity, but a call, if Christ is patient, the Christian is called to be patient. And this the Holy Father explained dash, requires going against the current of today's widespread mentality, in which haste and everything and now dominate, in which, instead of waiting for situations to mature, people are squeezed, expecting them to change instantly. Pope Francis remarked that haste and impatience are enemies of the spiritual life, for God is love, and he who loves does not tire, does not get irritated, does not give ultimatums, but knows how to wait. Later, Pope Francis recalled that patience is the fruit of the Holy Spirit, and for this reason it is necessary to ask him for it. The Holy Father specified that especially in these days of Holy Week, it will do us good to contemplate the Crucified One in order to assimilate his patience. A good exercise is also to bring to him the most annoying people, asking him for the grace to put into practice with them that work of mercy that is so well known but so neglected, to patiently put up with people who are annoying. And it is not easy, he assured. Pope Francis explained that one begins by asking to look at them with compassion, with the gaze of God knowing how to distinguish their faces from their defects. He also stressed that we have the habit of cataloging people by the mistakes they make. This is not good. For this reason, he invited to look for people by their faces, by their hearts, and not by their mistakes. Finally, he indicated that to cultivate patience, a virtue that gives breath to life, it is good to broaden our gaze. For example, by not limiting the world to our problems, as the imitation of Christ invites us to do, which says, you must therefore remember the greater sufferings of others, so that you may learn to bear your own little ones, remembering that there is no thing, however small, which is endured for the love of God, 
that goes unrewarded before God. In conclusion, he pointed out that when we feel ourselves prisoners of trial, as Job teaches us, it is good to open ourselves with hope to the newness of God, in the firm confidence that he does not let our expectations be disappointed.